Good morning, friends. Glad to be with you today. It's a blessing in my life. Today I want to offer a prayer about silence. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we acknowledge to you today that we are feeling overwhelmed by all that is happening in the world. We acknowledge, as we do each week, that part of what is happening is new, but we also realize that part of what is happening is not new, but has been a reality in need of change for way too long. As we pray this week, we pray for an end to silence at times when we should not be silent. We pray for an end to not moving when we should move. We pray for an end to not acting when we should act. We especially pray this week about the resurgence of the coronavirus and the reluctance of some to wear masks when they should. Friends, as we pray this morning, I invite you to think about whether you have been silent for too long. I invite you to think about why. I invite you to think about how you can change that. I invite you to think about how you might want to be heard. As we continue, Lord, help us to know, sometimes the silence is not only deafening, it is paralyzing. Sometimes we have to move. Sometimes we have to speak. Sometimes we have to stand up and be heard, and sometimes we have to shout. Lord, as we continue in prayer, we pray that you guide us to know when we just have to say something. We pray that you will guide us to know when the silence should be over. We pray that you will guide us to know when the time has come to speak. We pray that you will guide us to know when we need to make a little noise. <coughs> we pray that you will guide us to know when we need to move our feet. Amen. Two short verses are going to be lifted up this morning with regards to silence. The first of those from the book <coughs> excuse me, of Job from the 13th chapter. Let me have silence and I will speak and let come on me what may. And from Psalm 39, verses two through three, I was silent and still, I held my peace to no avail, my distress grew worse, my heart became hot within me, when I mused the fire burned, then I spoke with my tongue. Friends, this is the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. <laughs> 